shade eye primer I'm gonna apply this all over my lid so that the eyeshadows last all day going in with buttery I'm gonna apply this color underneath my brow bone going in with dusty rose I'm gonna apply this color all over my crease using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that it came with so I'm going to apply Dusty Rose all over my crease, buffing that color in. Going in with Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear, I'm just going to blend that in my crease, blending the color up towards my eyebrow. So I'm just going to blend this color in my crease and then I'm going to push it up towards my eyebrow. So I'm going to apply that color in my crease, blending up towards my eyebrow just the same way like I did with Cocoa Bear. So blending that color in the crease and just blending it in circular motions, making sure that there's no harsh lines. Going back in with Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek, I'm going to blend that in my crease, making sure that there's no harsh lines and building that color up as well. Now applying buttery underneath my brow bone, making sure that it blends in with my crease color. Going in with Aren't You Fancy, I'm going to apply this all over my lid. I'm going to wet the eyeshadow so that it pops even more and it gives it this metallic finish. Going back in with the color that I can't pronounce, I'm going to blend that in my crease. I'm just going to focus it just on my crease. I'm just going to pack the color on and I'm just going to blend it, focusing it just in the crease just because that's the area that I want it to be more intense. Going back in with the Makeup Peak Eyeshadow Cocoa Bear, I'm going to apply that in the crease just to blend everything out, making sure that there's no harsh lines. Going in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Peak, I'm going to apply that on my inner eye. Now I'm going to apply some eyelashes and eyeliner. Now I'm applying Too Faced Hangover Primer all over my face. Going in with the City Color Cosmetics Orange Corrector and I'm just going to apply this in the areas that I feel like I need more coverage. Now I'm taking a beauty blender I'm just going to blend out that orange concealer. Going in with my favorite BB Cream by Garnier. I'm going to apply that along with NARS Tinted Moisturizer in Cuba. I'm going to mix those two colors together to get my perfect shade. And then I'm going to apply it on my face and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. I love using BB creams when I just want a more natural look. But at the same time, BB cream gives you full coverage. Now applying the NYX HD Concealer in yellow just because these are the areas that I really want to brighten up. Going in with the clear setting powder, I'm going to set the areas where I apply the concealer so that there's no creasing. Going in with the e.l.f. yellow setting powder, I'm going to apply the yellow in the areas that, that I applied the concealer just because I want those areas to really pop, especially since I'm going to be taking lots of pictures today. Going in with the Too Faced Contour Palette, I'm going to chisel my cheeks. I'll have a review coming soon on that. Now going in with my NYX Highlighting and Contouring Palette, I'm just going to bronze my face up even more just to give me some more cheekbones. Now going in with Hard Candy Setting Spray, I'm just going to set my face. Now going in with Hollywood Boulevard from Wet n Wild, I'm going to apply this beautiful highlight. Going in with my favorite blush, it is from Milani, it's 06. I'm going to apply that to my cheeks, then I'm going to go in with Milani. Milani, <laughs> Milani Teddy Bear Lipstick just to give me a more nude lip and it smells amazing. 
and now your look is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of what you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!